Hello everybody. In this video I will show you how to replace the LCD screen on this Samsung A20e. All right. I know that the phone still works. Uh, we only need to replace the screen. So um, let's go ahead and uh, start by removing the SIM tray. And now we need to take this plastic cover off. I usually start from here. Let's see if I can go in there. There you go. And then I work my way around it. Now, you have to be careful here, especially not to break this one, not to break this tiny strip of plastic. So let's not put, put pressure in there. Now we come here, you have to be careful also, also of this button, so we just push it down and unglue it from the back cover, right? See what happens here. Still attached to the back cover. <coughs> just gonna push it through, just like so. All right, so we can start removing the home button here. Right. Okay, let's start to take away all the screws around here. Now let's see, with the help of, of a magnet, if I can take the screws out. See? Yeah. I can lay the I can lay the screws that I take out of the phone in the right order. So one. Okay. Now I have a correct lay down of the screws. So I know I know where they go. There you go. See? Never pull too strongly. There you go. Comes out really easy. And now it's a shield, sort of shield, some sort of protection. Cable using a plastic tool. This one. Just to do it like 
so there. And now we disconnect these two antenna cables. One, two. Let's see now, yeah, this is gonna easily move out of the way. This one too, it's probably the volume, it is the volume, yeah, the volume button. So let me try to remove this camera module here, the whole thing here. Yeah, very easy. See, there is. So I can safely remove it, put it aside. So <clears throat> let's now pull out this speaker here. Okay, this comes out pretty easy. Also, try to retain the mesh, the mesh here, so dust won't be able to go in there. This one here as well. So I did it in real time, so just count the seconds. See if I can go under the screen now. Ah, it's really hot. Really, really. So I'm gonna put one here like so so into place and I keep heating the screen. So wait on there. Right. Let's keep going here. These are the sheet of the LCD screen, and I have to go just right under there. So now I'm just gonna have to pull this cable out like so. See if it comes out here. Yeah. There you go. Now I have to clean the edges because there's lots of glass shards and so I want to clean them and then we'll be ready to test the screen if the screen works but first 
let's try to remove all this shattered screen and as you can see there's a seal here this black one this black filament it's a seal so and I will need to replace that with some glue all right if I want to keep the waterproofness of this phone if it has any I don't really know but anyway I'm gonna need to use some glue just to really fix the screen tight onto the body of the phone so I don't want this part to bend upwards too much so I'm just gonna keep a finger in here and try to work like here like so and try to connect the cable there the flat cable See. And there you go. There's a click. And now I need to connect the battery cable. Now. Yep. Looks like it's working. Okay, now keep the display in the upright position with the help of some support and uh, clean the edges of the frame of the phone very very well because the display it has to sit really flush with the frame all right so this is a, a job that you want to take uh, some time to do it properly and uh, now you have to take a glue uh, i usually use a black glue because uh, that way I'm gonna avoid bleeding, light bleeding around the edges of the computer. And I'm gonna use glue because um, most often than not, the adhesive strips that come all around the edges of the new display, they are not strong enough to hold uh, the display in place for a long time. Okay, so in here you have to be really careful when you put the glue around the front facing camera. I only put glue on top of the front facing camera I didn't put glue around it and that's really sufficient okay so make sure you don't put glue on the camera this fine nozzle here really helps us do a really good and thorough job okay now I'm gonna use a piece of cork um, to use as a separator between the display and the frame of the phone because I want the display to stay up high and I want to turn it around and um, finish the job of gluing the frame once that's done I'm gonna remove the cork and I'm gonna place the display in its right place okay um, in here you gently press the LCD into the frame and don't worry if there's some glue that comes out uh, of the edges when it's gonna dry up it's gonna look much better and you will be able to remove it with no difficulty whatsoever yeah i could find only this book here so i'm just gonna put this on top of the thing and then i'm gonna put my hammers two hammers here hopefully this will do Okay, so about uh, 12 hours have passed and uh, the glue is dry, it's not completely dry, that will happen in about 24 hours, but it's dry enough so that I can rebuild the phone. Now um, I'm cleaning the uh, lenses of the camera with some Q-tip and some alcohol, okay. So we do a proper job here because we don't want any 
lint left over on the camera lenses. I also clean the back cover lens. Do a good job not to leave any smudges. Now we reconnect the fingerprint reader and we are ready to reassemble the phone. Put this back on and we are done. Make sure it snaps on all around the, the frame. All right, now that our phone is just as new, uh, we need to protect it with uh, a protective case. And also I suggest uh, you use a screen protector. So that way the whole phone is protected and you won't have to do this job again in the near future. So I'm going to link a video where I show how to put a screen protector the right way on your phone. And uh, well, if you like this video and uh, if it helped you, please thumbs up and subscribe if you like this kind of content. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.